Hello, um, my name is Carly. Uh, today, um, I'm just getting over a cold. And uh, what I like to do to congratulate myself for surviving is uh, re-dyeing my hair or, or dyeing it a different color. So, <clears throat> um, right now my hair, well it used to be, you know, if you look back in my old videos, um, my hair used to be uh, turquoise and then brown, kind of like an ombre changing. Right now it's like a, like a minty uh, puke, like a white minty puke. So uh, what we're gonna do, what I usually do is just all Atomic Turquoise uh, by Manic Panic. And I mean, I'd like a hair brand that, or a dye brand that lasts longer, but those are all probably in Europe. So I'm stuck with Manic Panic, which is okay because they have some really good colors. But right now, today we're gonna do half Atomic Turquoise, half Purple Haze. And I wanted the Purple Haze to be kind of like a dark plum, uh, but they didn't have anything like that. So I'm hoping that the this purple haze is gonna kind of mix with this gross minty green and make it like a dark, almost brownish purple, which is what I'm going for. So hopefully that'll work out. I've never done two-tone hair myself. Whenever I do, do two-tone hair, I uh, get it done at a salon. So this will be kind of a, a new experience for me. So we'll be learning together. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> so this could be a total mess or it could turn out really cool. Either way, doesn't really matter. Uh, because I have these long brown roots, I can hide it really easily. So if something bad happens, you know, we'll see. Uh, and we'll probably be joined by my dogs once in a while. Come here, Baby Duke. This is Baby Duke. Hi, Baby Duke. Say hi. Okay. Yeah, Baby Duke's a good boy. Are you gonna throw up? No. Okay, good. All right, go over there. I just don't want him to get into the dye. Um. Okay. So I bought a bunch of goodies. Hopefully these will all help us. Um, with the dyeing. One second, I gotta grab a few more things. All right, so I think I have everything now. There's a lot of things involved. I mean, if you stop at like uh, Sally's Beauty or maybe even Walmart, I don't know. I always go to Sally's, but they should have all these things. Oh, my other dog. Teddy, come here. This is Toddy. Hopefully she won't get into the dye. Maybe she should make the kitchen off limits. Okay, so these are all the things I have. I have foil. Um, I They always use foil uh, when I go to the hair salon, so I'm gonna use foil today uh, just to separate the colors. Hopefully that'll work. Um, a net, like a hair net, like a plastic hair thing, just to keep the heat in um, around my head to intensify the color. Black latex gloves, um, any kind of glove I think that'll protect your hand will be good. I'm hoping these are, I mean they're mediums, I have really small hands, so it's smart to get some that are like tight around your hands so your fingers aren't going to feel uncomfortable. I also got um, this stain remover. Um, because I don't have Vaseline, because people say you put that around your face to keep it from dyeing your face, I'm going to use this afterwards to just kind of wipe up my face and body afterwards. I got a bunch of scrunchies. I got this hair clippy. I got my Manic Panic Atomic Turquoise and Purple Haze. Tupperware containers for the two colors. A brush for applying. I got a shirt that I don't care if I get dyed and it's a dark color. Um, and my setup here is just a mirror 
and then I put this plastic tarp underneath me just in case I don't want to get any dye anywhere. Um, also, a towel. No, no, no. Might need it, probably. Okay. Alright, I'm going to separate my hair. I'll like do like the, you know, I'm going to start bottom layer and then go top layer. Um, and I'm going to do some separating things and I'll put my dyes in here and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my hair separated into fourths. I have one on the side, one on the side, one in the back, and then all my hair on top. After I'm done doing the bottom layer, I'll do the top layer after. Looks like it's probably going to fall apart because it's done really sloppily. But one thing that it says on Manic Panic, it says that you want to towel dry your hair and then go for it so your hair is slightly damp. I always dye my hair while it's dry. I don't know why they have you do it while it's wet because you'd think that it wouldn't last as long if you dyed it over wet hair. I know in the salon they always do it when your hair is dry. So that's what I do. I, I, I first went in the shower and I washed my hair with um, with uh, Paul Mitchell Tea Tree uh, shampoo and that's like a really strong shampoo that will kind of cleanse your hair and that's what you want you want your hair totally cleansed before you dye it so that there's nothing in there stopping it from like no oils or anything stopping it so we're gonna start I got my two dyes in here and I'll fill up more if I need it and things are already getting super messy um, like when I opened the manic panic it just kind of exploded so so I'm really glad I have this tarp here and I'm really glad I have clothes that don't you know care if I could die on them so let's see how it goes mm -hmm. Okay, so I have the first section, three pieces done. I know this looks kind of ridiculous. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna dye the rest of the bottom layer and then I'll show you guys again when I section off the top. And then, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all the different things in here. And one thing I noticed as I went is if you just have one brush, which I did, um, try to do all the um, try to do all the color one at a time. So go through, do all the blue, and then after you're done, wipe your brush off and go through, do all the purple. It went a lot easier for me. So now I got all those. I know, kind of a messy job, but you just have to understand that it's it's messy work whatever it's it's dying your hair so um and one thing is if you have friends and you can do this it'll probably be a lot more exciting <laughs> I got that section into three. Hopefully it's a you know, proper thing to do. Now I got this. We're gonna start doing that. Okay? I'll be back when I'm done doing all of them. Okay? Okay, so we're all done. We got the got the blue and the purple. And blue, purple, blue, purple, all around the place. That's uh, probably more sparse in the back just because I couldn't see. But now we're going to take our plastic hairnet and we're gonna put it all up in there. So this will be quite a task. Let's see how I do this. I'm 
All right. Look at that. Okay, so I got that. Ooh, look at the mess I made. But luckily, look at that. Ooh. Luckily, I've got these sweet stain removing things. And also, I'm going to wash my hands and probably dip them in some bleach or something after this. <sighs> Make sure you get your whole face. You do not want this to stain your face. I'm kind of a mess, huh? Maybe I should have gotten Vaseline, huh? We all make mistakes. this in my hair for like an hour half it says half an hour on the bottles but I leave it in for more yeah I mean I guess you can't really leave it in for too long I don't I've heard of people actually sleeping with it on I wouldn't do that I mean I don't know if it does anything to your hair it might actually be good for your hair to have it soak in that but anyway I'll be back in an hour all right so the hour is up and I spent my last hour cleaning up the mess, eating ramen noodle, and praying to the hair gods that my hair turns out all right. Um, one thing you can do while you're waiting is on the Manic Panic packages it says add heat for intensity. So one thing you can do while this is on is you can take a blow dryer with high heat. Um, Okay guys, thanks a lot. You're cool. <laughs> and uh, just put the heat to your hair to make sure that, uh, you know, to just lift the intensity and the color a little bit. <laughs> okay. So right now what I'm going to do is going to wash it out in the sink. Um, <laughs> and when I wash it out, um, I know you're probably wondering, it's probably gonna all run together, all the colors, which is true, it probably is, but I don't really know any other way to do it. So I'm just gonna wash it out all together in the sink and then um, and then just put some uh, some conditioner in it and then wash that out again until my uh, hair runs, the water runs clear. All right, so I got it all washed out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow dry it and then I'll come back and show it to you then. Okay, so I just dried out my hair and you can kind of see all the colors in there. Because my hair is so damaged, it looks really fuzzy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to style it. And I'm gonna curl it, and then I'll come back so you can see what it looks like all finished up. All right, so this is it styled, and it kind of it's like a peacock because you can see there's some green in there, and then there's aqua, and then where the aqua had mixed with the purple. There's blue. So, looks kind of like a peacock. Peacock hair. So, okay. Uh, we're all finished here. And now I'm ready to go out in the town. It's too bad I'm still sick. And Maybe I'll go out on St. Patrick's Day or something. Okay. Thanks very much. Bye, guys. <laughs>